we have a lag. So we are doing well with the first dose at 63.8%. Um, of course, we want that to go up because we got to get closer to 80-85% for us to start achieving some sense of herd immunity. But despite that, the first dose, people are coming. At least we are getting uh, two, 3,000 persons a day coming out to get their first dose. But there's a corresponding lag. Um, so people take the first dose and people are not coming back for the second dose. And if you are only partially vaccinated, meaning you only got one, um, one dose out of a two-dose regimen, then you're not going to get full protection. And I want people to understand that. So having one dose does not fully protect you. It will give you some level of protection, but you wouldn't get full protection. During his daily COVID-19 update on Thursday, Minister of Health Dr. Frank Anthony appealed for persons to get their second jab of the COVID-19 vaccines, making it clear that receiving one dose does not fully protect against the harsh effects of the coronavirus. The health minister said that enough second doses of the Sinopharm and AstraZeneca vaccines are available. And with approximately 30,000 persons due for their second jab of the AstraZeneca vaccine, he urged them to get vaccinated. As it relates to the Sputnik V second component, the minister explained that when the government receives the next shipment, it will be rolled out immediately. The newsroom understands that thousands of people are awaiting their second dose of this vaccine following a delay in the shipments from the Russian provider. Meanwhile, the surge in COVID-19 cases continues and over the last 24 hours, Guyana recorded another 240 new infections. Currently, there are 2,709 active cases spread out across the 10 administrative regions. And while the Health Ministry's Operation COVID curb is still in full swing, the Health Minister explained that persons still continue to be complacent. Well, this trend is going to go up if people are not taking precautions. And because um, what we are seeing now is a surge, as I keep saying, over the last couple of weeks. We were anticipating this because with a new, uh, more contagious variant, um, we are going to see more cases, especially if people are going to be complacent. So if people are not wearing their masks properly, they're not doing the distancing, they're not sanitizing, um, they're gathering, in, in groups and being very irresponsible, then we are going to see surges of cases. The health minister had reported previously that tuition on the east bank of Essequibo, Diamond and Grove on the east bank of Demerara, Kitty and Sophia, along with Cummins Lodge in Georgetown, are just some of the few COVID hotspots across the country. Reporting for the newsroom, I am Shikima Day.